So far this year, 23 people have died in pedestrian crashes across Iowa. And the Iowa Department of Transportation tells us that's slightly higher than this time last year. There will soon be a lot more people on the street, strict or treating. KCCI's Marcus McIntosh has a look at ways to keep yourself and your kids safe. Marcus. Ben, we're on Keogh in Des Moines where trick or treating is next Wednesday, beggars night the night before Halloween. But there are about a half dozen communities where trick or treating will take place on Saturday night. So we have some tips for you to avoid traffic trouble while trick or treating. At Colby Park in Winter Heights, the sounds of kids having fun will ring loud and strong as they go door to door Saturday evening to trick or treat. Parents, no matter where they live, want to make sure it is done safely. It's really important. Uh, we try to walk around with glow sticks or have some sort of glowing thing on the kids so that not only we can keep track of them, but anybody that's that may be driving in the neighborhood can also see them. Elise Lacona says that is her number one rule. She and her husband will be with the kids every step of the way as they go door to door for candy. <laughs> That's kind of how I grew up, uh, was making sure that we had the safety things in place. Hickman Road gets a lot of high-speed drivers. Lieutenant Mike Erlbeck with the Windsor Heights Police Department offers a tip for drivers when they see the trick-or-treaters. We always want to be cautious because kids do tend to dart out. They're very excited. There are challenges in Windsor Heights that some communities don't have, and that is how trick-or-treaters and their parents navigate streets without sidewalks. Not every street around the metro has a sidewalk, so if you are going to be walking on the street, walk as far left as you can, prefer be on the grass. Now, Lieutenant Erbeck also advises people to put this away, whether you're a trick-or-treater, your parent, and especially drivers, put away the cell phone for a few hours and have fun trick-or-treating. We're live in Des Moines, I'm Marcus McIntosh, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.